Hi, Papa. Very, very happy birthday to you. And um, I hope you like my gift this time because the last few times were a complete mess and we're not gonna get into it, but I love you, bye. Hey, Barack, happy birthday. Uh, June 3rd, 1971. Wow. I have a story about June 3rd. Uh, maybe next time when we meet after this Corona times, uh, I can talk about that story to a storyteller. to you man I'm sure you know by now you would have celebrated very close to 50 birthdays I know maybe not yet 50 yeah you know. but you know what in all these birthdays uh, the differentiate of what I always find is a crowd you know of course your near and dear ones are always there to celebrate your birthday but then, who are the other people, you know, who come and make this occasion a great one, who take all their effort to make it a great, you know, do their part. Uh, and why that's the differentiator, you know? Because, you know, that really shows, you know, you would have touched their life in some form or other at some point of time. And they really care for that. And they really appreciate what you have done. And they come forward on occasions like this. Hi, Parag. Many, many Appletons of the day. Tara has sent a few questions to record and send it over to you. So I'll go with that. When and where did you meet Parag? I think it was in 2019. Um, first time I met you was in Nara Park, if I remember. That's my first memory of meeting you, Swati, and all your family. I met you when you came to my apartment for the first game night I ever hosted. Parag, apni pehli mulaqat sabke samne bata do kya? Wo jungle, wo wadiyan, aha. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no, 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 no. I met Parag first um, at a picture's house at the cake cutting event, DSP event. I think what we have, uh, it's hardly not even seven, eight months, a year, less than a year, I believe, right? When we all have, we all met. I met Prag in Panera Bread Meetup uh, in Lexington. Um, 2018. Panera Bread, Lexington, um, I think fall of 2018, um, you had interviewed me to see if I was worthy of BSP and glad you found me worthy and hence here I am as part of the group. Thank you. I actually met Parag in person for the first time, uh, I think when we were going to Lake George or somewhere in New York. Uh, it was very early in the morning, I was one of the first persons to arrive. Uh, you know, we waited at Parag's house, we had tea. first met Parag in uh, at Kunal's place. I think that was my first DSP meetup. I believe I met Parag um, first time when um, outside his apartment when we were going to, um, uh, I believe my first trip to uh, New Hampshire, I think it was, at around um, 6.30 in the morning. Um, that's when um, I met him first. I met Parag in September 2018 uh, in McDonald's in Acton. Uh, Chandra, Parag and myself had a small meetup. We had a lot of fun that time and had discussion how to run this meetup and how to form a group. Thanks in 2018, Sonia Sass. I met you in the hospital, you know, good times. Definitely remember that day. Who 
what was your first impression of him? Hmm. I was like, okay, so he's the organizer of TSP and was just curious to know more. First impression, I know this very well. My first impression was, oh, thank God. You know why? Because I had just signed up for this uh, crazy meetup uh, DSP group. I had no idea what to expect. I didn't know what kind of weirdos are going to show up. And I was all my back of my mind how to run away, escape and whatnot. And you show up. So I'm like, it's not that bad. Thank God. I uh, had no first impression of him. Uh, but later on during the conversation when he said uh, that he comes from army background, I thought about it. I don't know how strict he's going to be. Close he's gonna be. First impression. When I saw him first, it felt, it felt, it felt, it felt as if he's a bi, right? <laughs> like a dawn, right? Hi, Jagan. <laughs> how are you? Welcome to the group. My first impression of you. Um, just looking at you, I mean, I was sort of lost getting to that Panera place thing, and then I was. Um, glad that you know you were there you showed up i think one of us was running late i would have been running late but i kept calling and i wanted to make sure that somebody is there because that whole place was new to me um and you helped me you know guide on the call and told me where the parking lot was and all that and once we got in i was relaxed and when we sat down i that was the first impression i seemed like you were quite tall um that you know first visual impression and then second thing we sat down and we were talking about what I did for work what you did for work and all that and as part of that it did come out that you know you had worked for the armed forces back in India and I thought wow that was pretty cool. I could see you know Parag was a great steady guy uh, um, um, a person you could rely on a person who was calm collected and who got things done so that that, that was uh, really impressive about him he sounded like really professional to me so that was like my first impression of him uh, my first impression of him was really cool so he actually met um, us with a cup of chai which was uh, awesome because you know it had been a while that someone had made chai for us so um, yeah uh, so he came with a cup of chai so um, there was good chai and after that um, there was a lady in his apartment complex uh, that came and started swearing at us um, uh, uh, <laughs> that came and started swearing at us and we told Parago so should we just stay quiet sorry about that and he was like uh, fucker and I was like okay that, that's good to know <laughs> and uh, you know uh, that was my first impression of him when I first saw you uh, you came across to me as a individual with a very level head uh, there doesn't seem to be any weird about you. Uh, I saw you at Kunal's house and I, th I think you were the first DSP guy who met because I was trying to figure out how to enter Kunal's building and you walked by and I think you called him up and opened the door and I followed you to his apartment where I met some of the other nicest human beings, uh, DSP human beings. He's a leader, very honest guy uh, with a very clear conscience and I still think that uh, after two, almost two years of meeting him. What was your first impression of him? Uh, why is he wearing a banyan? Um, I guess you were trying to pull off a white shirt, uh, but it truly looked like a banyan to me. So my first thoughts were, what's, what's going on there? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and then also uh, you had volunteered to cook turkey for about 20 people. Um, so I came to the party expecting to taste turkey cooked by a guy for the first time in my life because I've never I've never had turkey cooked by a man <laughs> before. <laughs> so I was like, okay, this is gonna be an interesting party. Um, let's see how it goes down. But um, yeah, um, you never made that turkey. Uh, I think you chickened out, or I think uh, suddenly somebody decided just no, it was a vegetarian Thanksgiving. So, but I. Yeah, I, I believe you did cook that turkey a week or two later, but anyways, um, yeah, that was a whole other story there. <laughs> My first impression of you was, why can't I see you? Knowing him now as much as you do, what do you think of him now? 
I think you're a very composed, very compassionate, motivated uh, individual. Uh, yeah, very energetic to be around you. Uh, this is, uh, well, I, I say now that I know a doctor, a publisher, a photographer, and a dad. What do I think of now? Still the same, Prag. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. No. Uh, now he's completely opposite of what I thought. He's a very soft hearted, kind hearted person. The thing I really like about you is the way you speak, slow. And why I like people like that, uh, you know, those kind of people, they think when they talk. And I really enjoy talking to people like that. You know? So that's very. And that's something great about you. And I love your passion for outdoor, which I'm also very passionate, you know. And the second thing is about uh, photography. Yeah, it's great, you know. So, and I, I'm sure uh, from what I understand, you're a very hard worker, you know, so. What do I think of him now? What do I think? Let me think, right? Eh? Uh, not as much as a boy, right? <laughs> Now he's okay, uh, he's soft-natured, uh, nice to hang out with. Now, after this year and a half-ish or so, what do I think of you? This uh, same two things, you haven't grown short, you're still tall and um, it's pretty cool that, you know, you've served in the uh, forces. And, uh, you know, throughout the year I've met him more and more, I've um, seen him more and uh, one thing I can say, you know, he he's a friend's friend. He's a person that you want in your corner when you're in a tight situation. Uh, we met like at many occasions, and uh, uh, my like po positive impression like towards him was like increasing exponentially. Uh, absolutely, nothing has changed. He's just the, I I think he's just the same. He doesn't care what anyone thinks. Um, he just does what he wants to, and uh, really impulsive. And that's that's what I still think of him. Um, what I know about you now, man, uh, you have experience, you have life experience. I think I have found very, I know very few people who have has life experience, unique life experience as you have. And that's a very good thing and I think, not preaching, but I think you should be very, very thankful that you got the opportunity to experience all in your life. Uh, and not many people have it. Certainly, I don't. Knowing him as much as you do now, what do you think of him? Um, I guess I, I'm happy to say that he is my friend. <laughs> now I think you're an amazing dad and you always um, look out for me and push me to do my best and you teach me new things and I'm so grateful that, um, that you're my dad. Share a favorite memory about Parag. Um, the first thing that comes to my mind is Lake George, uh, the drive, you, I, and Prabha, the conversations and everything that we had. Uh, I think uh, that will always be my my favorite memory, and I always uh, cherish those conversations. This I must say, when you played the guitar at my apartment. That's something I ever wanted to do, never got started yet. I still have time. Um, but uh, when you played the guitar, that was, that got to be it. Favorite memory of Parag is uh, how he took care of everyone when we met at uh, Swati's birthday event. That was very nice of him uh, to do that. We have quite a lot of favorite uh, memories with uh, hikes. So uh, especially like, I like the winter hikes. My favorite memory of you, okay. So for this, I have a story. The Memorial Day trail that, or hiking we all went to last year in 2018, long one, right? Eight, 10 miles something we all walked uh, and then we crashed in that Airbnb for the night. So somewhere in the middle of that trail, like random spot, um, you pulled out a paper map of the trail and said, you pointed to a specific spot and said, here we are, guys, look, look, here we are. None of our cell phones were working, no compasses, no direction, no sense of anything there. 
and I was surprised how you did that. I mean, how can you point to a spot on the trail and say that's where we were? And when I asked you, I think you said that tree, that rock or something and I'm like completely faked it. Um, there was a lot of people there that may have believed that and you know, for a bit it sounded very convincing but I still think to date that you completely faked it and you may have managed to like fool a whole group of people. Um, so that will be a memory that will stick with me. The best memory that I had with him was uh... Uh, we all went on this uh, uh, like run on Minuteman uh, bikeway and that day it was like 30F and uh, I have like decided to run only for like 5 miles uh, but uh, Parag pushed me and finally I ended up like doing 10 miles that day and that, that was my like longest run in my whole life and uh, he was like very like uh, motivating uh, he, every mile he is like checking on me like okay are you okay but still like pushing me to do one extra mile and uh, I really liked that and that was like one of my like favorite uh, memories with him and after that uh, as a group we all went to this uh, winter um, snow hike on Mount Major and even there he was like helping everyone like being supportive of everybody and uh, that hike was like very uh, memorable. My favorite uh, memory? Um... I think uh, we were coming back from I think the second trip that we went to um, I don't remember it was Lake George I, I don't remember where it was to uh, but it was the second trip that we went to and um, Parag and I and we were we were coming back Chrissy Parag and I were in the car and uh, we came listening to um, old Bollywood uh, music not very old but yeah old music and um, we were singing all and uh, all the way and it was beautiful you know singing all those songs and all those things you know we were growing up that was awesome um, beautiful uh, beautiful memories my favorite memory with Parag is probably the time we went to White Mountains for an overnight stay it was a memorial weekend in 2019 it was a fantastic time for entire group. I enjoyed and that was a very good memory for me. Uh, share a favorite memory about Prague. Uh, okay, uh, there are many, but um, if I had to pick, um, all right, m most recently, uh, most recently, Goose Goosen, Duck Duckin. Um, inside joke, but uh, I know you'll get it. Um, but really quick, some. Thing else to share uh, December 2018 um, I just moved here a few months ago and I was doing Ariman's fourth birthday and I had absolutely no help and I went overboard um, and the morning off I had a lot of things that I still uh, needed to get done and I was sharing that with Parag uh, and all he said to me very calmly was Deka don't worry the army is coming um, I'll never forget it because um, he was the first person to show up, he came early and uh, he helped me with the littlest things, the most littlest details in the party and uh, he was the last person to leave. Um, yeah, uh, I will never forget that. I have a lot of fun memories but I think my favorite one would be going to Goa, that was the best time I've ever had. What are general things that happen to a person in their 50s? Well, I read that uh, if you've always been active up until then, then good news, you're in great shape to take up tango lessons and master it. If you haven't thought about it, you should definitely think about it. What general things that happen to a person in their 50s? You know what, I really thought of uh, the morning wood joke, but I'll save that for VT, okay? But uh, here is mine. When you hear people say, I got lucky after 50, all they mean is that uh, you they got to your room and they still remember why they got into the room. A general warning as he approaches half century, 
brag uh, start mentally preparing yourself uh, very soon young and hot girls like me <laughs> we'll start calling you prog uncle we got a taste of it at the party at my house <laughs> sorry just kidding again don't kill me okay <laughs> oh wow okay so that is uh, what can i say it's a half a century so that's you know and uh, congratulations on that on hitting half century i can't tell you from experience but um with you what can happen i don't know i think you'll remain the same uh, you would have probably climbed a few more hills mountains whatever um but yeah um your last year before you get there so i hope you have a lot of fun hey you're turning 49 today life begins at 49 so don't even think about it enjoy go make more memories have fun things that happen to a person in their 50s um I don't know. Uh I guess you become even more crazy. Like Parag is um getting more and more Parag by the day. So I think that's what happens. One thing that you need to consider you are turning 49, you have turned 49 and 50 even though I don't think that's the case, but many people say that the circulatory system actually starts uh, playing some weird role. just make sure man that the blood reaches everywhere all right uh, i don't have to say anything else what are the general things that happen to a person in their 50s not a clue bro google it no idea um but uh, this is your last year in your 40s so um may you bald gracefully um may you wrinkle gracefully and um i hope with the joy and the light in you never dims I don't know what happens in your 50s but I really hope you don't have a midlife crisis. You're an amazing person. I'm very glad to have known you. Uh you're such an inspiration for us and uh you know I wish for many more such uh many more of this friendship and celebrations. So I wish you a very very happy birthday stay younger stay blessed that said it's really good to know you uh, you are an awesome friend awesome uh, i'm glad and happy that uh, i know you got a chance to know you and uh, that's it have a wonderful birthday bye parag please don't be so paranoid of this corona virus if it helps in any way i've got your back main hu na ye corona virus ko to bhaga dungi अब आके दिखाए तो सही तुम्हारे पास ओके एनीवेज दे वाज जस्ट किडिंग बट एनीवेज इफ आई हैव टू डिस्क्राइब फराग इन वन वर्ड इट विल बी अ जेंटलमैन ओके एंड होप यू हैव अ वंडरफुल डे एंड अ ग्रेट लाइफ विश यू अ वेरी 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 हैप्पी बर्थडे टेक केयर बाय तारा बाय फराग रियली यू हैव टच द लाइफ्स इन सम फॉर्म ऑफ अदर एट सम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम यू नो इन दिस शॉर्ट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम and that is what i believe parag is you know so you have been doing a great job man you know what so keep doing what you're doing and feel very proud of yourself you know not everybody can do it so i think you know it's an excellent thing that you have been doing so thank you for all that all the very best and happy birthday once more to you man Stay blessed. Thank you. Uh, okay, all the best for a century, right? Target a century and uh, keep marching towards it. Good luck. Happy birthday again. Bye bye. Hey Parag, happy birthday to you. Um so hopefully this collection of videos will be something fun for you to keep. Um happy 49th birthday to you. Your last one before the big golden jubilee. Um cheers to that. Uh, just have fun. Enjoy and um i hope to see you soon sometime take care bye happy birthday again break the day open that's all i can say um but in the end it's all about what you achieved in this life in terms of happiness take care and have a great one bye bye i mean parag is like a uh, very straight forward uh, but like very supportive person uh, he motivates everyone in the group he tells awesome stories and uh, he is like a best buddy to have 
um so parag um good luck with whatever you do in your life um and happy birthday captain parag and just happy birthday parag um you you really um showed me that someone can be even more impulsive and even more um energetic than me and still um rock it so it gives me that you know you're doing good just be what you are and uh, thank you 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 have so much energy it is awesome and um, thank you so much uh, for being a friend and um, yeah bye happy birthday and uh, many more years to come ciao cheers to your 49th and i hope well we have a great time for the next 49 years all of us together Take care bye bye. Stay strong man. You are a great soul and you're gonna do lot of great things. So stay strong and I wish you a very happy birthday again. Bye. You're a wonderful person and I wish you all happiness. Um happy 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 birthday. Um and um yeah. You make magic wherever you go. So I hope it always follows you. Yeah, that's it.